Hi, Mariah Healy of Reptophiles here. It was brought to my attention that reptile heat bulbs might get banned in the US. Is this something to be worried about? Let's talk about it. So if you've heard about this, there's a good chance that you heard about it from Kevin over at New England Reptile. I'm really, really worried about this uh, basking lamp uh, problem. So if you haven't heard, what's happening is as, as of August 2023, August 1st, the United States has pretty much banned the manufacturing of incandescent lamps. It's not the worst video, but it does make a couple of errors that I'd like to address as a professional reptile husbandry specialist. First, Kevin mentioned it's UVA, so that is the infrared energy that is emitted down. That's incorrect, and getting our facts straight is important if we want to fight potentially harmful legislation. Incandescent heat bulbs produce infrared A, or IRA. They do produce a little bit of UVA, but it's such a small amount that it's really not significant. Infrared A is important because it's the most efficient form of infrared, aka heat, for ectothermic re animals like reptiles to power their metabolisms with. Infrared A is produced in large quantities by the sun. But if you want to learn more about that, see my video on infrared. Second, Kevin mentioned that offhandedly- Heat emitters are great. They're longer lasting and better use of energy, I believe, than a basking lamp. And they project it down really nicely, but we- This is also incorrect. Contrary to their advertising, heat projectors produce very little infrared A, mostly producing infrared B and C instead. This makes them less effective as a source of basking heat for reptiles than incandescent heat bulbs, both the standards and the halogens. Third, this video encourages viewers not to panic, yet it's also telling people to go stock up on reptile bulbs like toilet paper. Bottom line, up front, if you have reptiles, go out, go to your local pet shop, go to your big box pet shop, get lights to keep your reptiles warm. I don't believe this is necessary. Zoomed already has plans underway to meet with the Department of Energy to explain why reptile heat bulbs are so important to caring for these pets and lobby them to make an exception. We've survived these kinds of scares before. The European side of the hobby has survived this situation, and I truly don't believe that we have anything to worry about. But if you do want to do something, it helps to write a letter to the Department of Energy explaining why incandescent heat bulbs are an irreplaceable tool in caring for reptiles as pets and in zoological institutions. You can also support lobbying efforts by providing financial support in the form of buying products from the companies doing the lobbying, rather than giving your dollar to overseas names. F to summarize, yes, our incandescent, standard, and halogen reptile bulbs are extremely important to the welfare of our pets, and it would be devastating to lose them. That said, I don't believe we need to start panicking just yet because of precedent set elsewhere, and because people are already lobbying the Department of Energy to make an exception for pets. Mariah out.